to my channel so I'm getting ready and I'm about to blow dry and straighten my hair I feel like I'm always like legitimately getting ready when I film um but yeah I'm getting ready because I'm going out but I'm about to blow dry my hair and I'm going to straighten it and I have some new clip-ins that I'm going to install so yeah, I know my last clip-ins I literally use them things until they start matting up so bad but I got some more straight ones well these were a body wave the last ones were I believe like light yaki these are just a regular body wave but what is different about these is the clips um not the clips but the west they don't have like the track west they have what looks like to me like tape ends so they're supposed to be super thin and this is perfect for people like me who have thinner hair and I can never one I can never do like ponytails with my clip-ins like with straight clip-ins and I can never put the clip-ins really close to my part because I don't have like enough density in my hair to actually like camouflage it so it always looks like little lumps so I have to be strategic when I wear my hair straight about where I place my clip-ins so you can't see the lump but these um are super duper thin so this is the first company that I've seen that had these clip-ins like this it's trying to focus on my face there we go but it looks like a tape in it's super thin and it's no track so I feel like I'll be able to put these super close and I won't have that lump I'll show you guys what I mean um but this is a normal clip in and you guys can see it has the track and it's pretty thick um, so I can never put them really close because they're so thick that my ouch that my hair won't cover it that well so I don't know how good that's showing up, but this is the normal one and this is the seamless from IDN So I got them in 20 inches and it's 240 grams for a full pack. This is a full pack. So it came with two separate bundles and they're 120 grams each. So I did use this anti-red toner when I wash the hair because sometimes when I get like clip-ins or bundles, even V-parts, it doesn't match the tone of my real hair. Um, like the clip-ins in the fake hair always has like this red undertone or like this red tint to it and my natural hair doesn't have that tint to it so what this does is it cancels that redness out cancels the redness out um and it just gives you like a nice brown without that undertone if that makes sense so now I can prep my hair to blow dry it. So I'm going in with this Olaplex number six. This is a leave-in and I'm literally using the tiniest amount and I got my hair in four sections. So I'm using just that one little dot for each section just to give my hair some hydration and this helps with frizz. Um, and then after I go in with that, I'm gonna go in with the Olaplex serum, the number nine. So this is my first time using the number nine serum and it is on the thicker side. It's like a clear kind of serum I guess so I'm using the tiniest amount on my hair because I didn't want to weigh my hair down because again my hair is on the thinner side so I just put a little bit just basically almost the same amount that I did of the leave-in on each section and then twisted it back up and now I'm going to go in with the color wow per section as I use my ref air to blow dry so the color wow I've been using for a while now this is actually a heat protectant and a anti-humidity spray so it really does help um, I've used it over the summer and it helped my hair so much when I straightened it so I just love using this and then the Rev Air y'all know this is my favorite blow dryer it just makes it so much easy and quick and it's less damaging to your hair because it uses cool air and reverse tension um, but yeah I have everything linked down below for you guys don't wonder no more what I think about you. If it's something that you want, then you should make me your girl, your girl. If it's something that you need, then baby, come and share my world. Share my world. If it's something that you want, come and take a walk with me. Okay, so my hair is nice and straight. Um totally forgot about this situation I might even them out and just make bangs I had heat damage from wearing my v-part um and I got frustrated when my hair was curly and I just cut it off without even nothing like measuring it nothing just grabbed it and cut it so it's like different lengths um but I'll figure that out so I'm gonna use my baby bliss titanium pro favorite been having these for years and they are still my absolute favorite um 
for good measure i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of the care care spray this has always been one of my favorite heat protectants and it gives you like a nice shine without making your hair super greasy um so i'm just gonna do like a light mist over my whole head just just to do it <laughs> <laughs> So the reason I love using these flat irons is because I can only do one pass on my hair and it gets really straight. Like I don't have to worry about the extra damage from constantly passing it over. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish these bangs up and ignore my ends, y'all. They look crazy. I told y'all I'll be cutting my hair while it's curly and it do not be even when I straighten it out. So I did even my ends out, just not in this video. But now I'm going in with the seamless ID and clip-ins, y'all. And as I'm doing this voiceover, I've already been wearing this clip-ins for about two and a half weeks so I can kind of give you guys my pros and cons on them as I install them so the pros they're super duper light so I slept in them some days and then some days I took them out and just put them back in in the morning on the days that I slept in them they did not move like they're so light that they stay in place they're also super flat so I was able to get them really really close to my parting area just so I could have like that fullness at the top but a thing that I did notice like the only con about these is the long ones if you when you start to curve them going up they can wrinkle because of the plastic that's on I guess would be the weft part they don't stay flat when you start curving them they can start wrinkling up and if you have thinner hair like me you're going to see like the little peaks poking through your hair so you do have to be strategic like throughout this whole time I've been playing with the placements of them and what I found that works the best is if I put all of the long ones in the back because if they start wrinkling then they'll have more hair on top of them so you can't really like see or feel them and then I put all of the shorter ones in the front like so I'm just putting them as straight pieces and not curving them much because when you start curving when you get closer to the top they start to wrinkle um but yeah so that is the only con that I noticed so you do have to be strategic with these as well but like these shorter ones I can put them so close to my middle part or wherever my part is and it's super flat and I can still like get a slick ponytail like look how flat that is um but yeah that is what I noticed so yeah all done and I'm dressed and I'm ready to go oh my gosh I have hair everywhere <laughs> my little bang situation is actually kind of cute I haven't had bangs in so long and I like that it's not like full-on bang um but I kind of I kind of like it this is what they look like I think if they were like light yakky like my other ones were, they would match my hair texture so good. Uh oh, what'd I do? There we go. Um, but yeah, they they don't look bad at all for them to be like the silky texture. They don't look bad at all. And I have all of them in my head except for one of the threes. I think there were 10 clips total, I think. But this is the final look I cut a few little layers in the front I actually think I need a little more on this side yeah I think that looks good I like it I think it came out really really good 
um yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you guys i will see you in my next one Love that you need, the baby come and share my world. Share my world.